If you are interested in learning more about what I have on offer, then head to my website, colechanceyoga.com. I do addiction recovery explorations, yoga teacher trainings, and retreats all over the world. So would love to connect with you on a deeper level. Please do reach out. Let's begin on our backs. And pull the knees into the chest to begin. So give yourself a big hug here. Bring your awareness to imprinting the spine along your mat or the floor, feeling the head heavy. And inflating the rib cage on every inhale. And then sinking in, kind of imprinting even more into the ground on your exhale. Once more like this, inhale, inflate. And exhale, melt. Just take a simple twist to each side. So first, shift the hips just slightly to the left, just a few centimeters or inches, wherever you're coming from. Take the knees over towards the right. Maybe see if you can let the left shoulder be heavy. Maybe the gaze turns to the left. It doesn't really matter. Just a feel into where you want to go today with this, this simple little ring out. Big breath. Still really giving yourself to the ground on your exhales. Next inhale, come back to center, shift the hips over towards the right just a bit and let the knees come over to the left. Three rounds of breath here. Right shoulder can be heavy. Give yourself to the ground every exhale. And then back to center, hands behind uh, the thighs. And let's take some big rolls up and down the spine. So again, you can think about um, the spine imprinting. Maybe you go quickly, maybe slowly. And then next round as you come up, you can cross the ankles and we just come up into a seat. Hands to the knees. We'll make them kind of, we're gonna make them active, hands to the knees actively. And we're gonna do some big spinal spirals, but use the knees to kind of guide you around. So you kind of push one way, pull as you come forward and then push as you go back. So you can control how big these are, how dramatic they are, but just feeling into the spine. So maybe they're small or maybe elbows are really bent as you go around, just feeling in and then going to the other side. So just researching what's happening in the body, observing. And then any organic movements here Good, good wiggles. And then come to stillness, push down through the sit bones, lift through the spine, back of the neck, crown of the head, and then lift the arms up as well. And we're gonna get some uh, opening on the side body. So reach up with your right hand as if you were almost gonna grab something and then grab a hold and then do so with the other. Left hand reaches, reaches, and then slowly wrap your hands around and continue to do this maybe slowing it down even more to feel the articulation and pull up from each hip bone as if that's where the length begins. Once more each side. And then let the arms drip down one round of breath here. Out the mouth. Tabletop position. Spread the fingers really wide. Knuckles plant, all the knuckles plant, fingers plant, kind of like a gecko palm, a slight 
suction vacuum up at the center of the palm, hasta banda, which means hand, hasta, and uh, banda lock. So we're locking in right there. Soften the elbows and send the hips slowly back towards the heels. So kind of in an active child's pose here. Let's actually tuck the toes. It's a little bit of a pouncing position. The elbows are bent. The hands are dragging back towards the hips as the heart reaches long. Steady breath. And then come forward, drag yourself forward up into a cow pose. And then to exhale, begin to push down into the ground as the back rounds. Lift the knees just slightly. So the shoulder blades are spreading on the back. Hands are firmly planting down, belly pulling towards the spine, and knees are just barely coming up off the ground. Then sit the sit bones high, leading with the sit bones, the tailbone, as if someone was pulling you with a string from your tailbone, lift up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal out. Soft, really generous and soft in the knees and the elbows. And then lift the heels, come to the balls of the feet, bend the knees, belly to thighs, and then push into the balls of the feet as this back begins to round and you wave forward. Shoulders over the wrists. Softly drip the knees down to touch and then soften the elbows be pulled back by the sit bones again. So coming all the way back to active child's pose, harness forward. And then the chin goes to the chest, the back rounds. As you roll forward into a plank pose, knees come up this time. So it's a rounded back high plank. So the chin is tucked a little bit. And then soften the knees and we're gonna push back, being guided by the hips, but we're gonna pivot the feet over towards the right side. So pivot both feet down, soften the knees. Hands can stay planted. Find a lot of buoyancy, bend deeply. You can stack the feet in front of one another or right side by side. See what feels better, getting long in the side body. And then bring the right knee down Bend in the left leg, press down into the right hand, and we're gonna slowly lift the left arm up. And then to exhale, bring it back down, downward facing dog. Lift the heels, bend the knees around, leading from the back of the heart as you shift forward. It's kind of a rounded back high plank. Slowly drip the knees down and shift back active child's pose. Heart pulls forward, elbows soften. And then tuck the chin around the back. Claw yourself forward into a uh, rounded back plank again. And this time the knees soften. You're guided back by the hips, but pivot the heels towards the left this time. Buoyancy in the legs. So. You can see how I'm kind of lifting one foot and then the other. We want to be light in the feet. They can be next to each other. They can be one in front. And then slowly bring the left knee down. As you push down into the right hand and open, open up. Maybe cactus the top arm. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Let's take the little vinyasa here. Inhale, shift forward rounded high plank, and then drip the knees back, down, soften the elbows as hips go to heels, but the heart pulls forward, so equal opposition. And then drag, claw yourself forward as the chin goes to the chest, back of the heart rounds, high plank, bend the knees, and then we're gonna shift back into the soft knee side plank. Pick one foot up and then the other, and then begin to lift the left arm up. Really try to get the right foot, sole of the foot, all the way down on the ground as you lift up. Again, you can have feet however you'd like. Now slowly begin to lift the left leg, maybe draw the toes up and down the thigh, or up and down the calf. You can stick the booty out and give some counterbalance. And then we're gonna plant the left leg 
towards the front of the room. So reach with the hand, the left leg comes to the left corner of the mat. Swivel the hips, bring the right knee down. Arms are long and biased off the side of the mat. We're gonna sway the spine, so tinch the fingertips and sway. Really utilizing the breath here. The inhale lifts you up and inflates. And then an exhale, there's a natural fall release. Give it to the ground. You can think about this front foot dialing out towards the left a little bit. You can even come to the left, to the pinky toe edge side of the foot. Getting into the hip. One more inhale. Begin to walk the hands towards the hips and swivel around into sage pose. One of my favorites. Not used enough. So you're sitting up on the hip. You can also sit on a block. And let's take the hands to Padma Mudra, Lotus Mudra. The elbow is kind of pushing into the leg if your arm's long enough to get there. I, I realize that I have extra long arms. Open up, Lotus Mudra. Possibility, transformation. And then inhale. See if you can think about pushing down, even everything touching the ground, but especially this left foot. Push down as you grow the mudra tall. And then exhale, left arm comes down inside the leg. Reach in front and then reach over with the right arm. There's a lot of equal opposition here. You're gluing the arm, the leg together. Spiral heart open. And then we're gonna swoop. So bring the right arm down, reach all the way like you're cutting across the air. Right hand plants back of the mat, get long. Maybe shift a little bit with the legs. Big and long reaching, sole of the left foot all the way down onto the ground. A little bit of a lift in the arch. Pada banda, pada foot, Sanskrit. And we'll turn towards the back of the mat. So the left hand plants swivel around Right leg comes all the way up and back, tripod down dog. And then exhale, slowly bring the right foot down to meet the left. Heels can kind of go low and then rebound them back up as you shift forward. Uh, high plank, drip the knees down, come back, active child's pose. So heart's moving forward as the hips come back. And then exhale, round chin to chest as you move forward. Again, high plank, shift back, soften the knees, and we're gonna pivot over towards the left, the soft knee side plank. Same thing here, figure out where you want the feet to be, but really wanting the left foot to get all the way down onto the ground. You can use your right hand for stability here. And just as kind of like you're picking up your feet in like sticky gum or something. And then plant the left foot all the way down. The right toes maybe draw up and down, ankle to knee. Maybe the right arm comes up, maybe it stays down on the ground. And then reach towards the right corner of the mat with the gaze and with the hand. And we're gonna take a big step, swivel the hips towards the corner of the mat, sink down. Hands go over kind of biased a little bit. Tint the fingers up and then sway the spine with the breath, breath-centered movement here. You can sway side to side, up and down. And think about the right foot dialing out towards the right. Like if you could open a jar with your foot, you're going to open it towards the right. Wouldn't that be a cool party trick? And then shift into sage pose. So draw the hands, walk the hands back towards you. And then swivel the hips and sink back sage pose. Padma Mudra, Lotus Mudra. If your elbow is reaching the thigh, right thigh, then press it in as the thigh presses back. Go ahead and make a banda there. A lock. Next inhale, grow your lotus. And 
exhale, right arm comes down inside the leg. So really gluing arm and leg together. Big side body stretch. Spiral the heart open. And then swoosh through the air. Left hand top of the mat. And then extend long. Corner edge of the mat of the foot coming down. Really pressing down through the left hand too. So getting side body stretch here as well. And then exhale, heart spirals down, right hand touches, tripod down dog, left leg lifts. Slowly, left leg comes down to the ground. Let the heels come down, kind of bounce down towards the earth and then inhale, rebound, roll forward, high plank. Soften the knees, shift back, active child's pose. Round the back, chin to chest, come forward. High plank, hips come up and back as you swivel, soft knee, side plank. Take a moment finding buoyancy. And maybe coming into like a tree pose side plank is a possibility, where you can also guide the hand up to the knee, but keep the knees soft. Maybe opening up, lots of options. And then gazing towards the corner of the mat. We're going where we went last time. So reach with the gaze, with the hand, and then with the foot. The back knee can come down, and we're gonna come all the way around into sage pose. Padma Mudra. Inhale, grow it up. And exhale, left arm comes down as you reach over towards the side. Swoop through the air towards the back of the mat. You can replace the right knee as you need and reach. Right wrist, hand right under the right shoulder, so maybe rearrange. Left hip, hand to the hip. Shift, and this time we're gonna lift the left leg. So getting a really long line from the hip out through the heel. There's a slight inner rotation there. You can stay right here or bend the leg, pull the hip or pull the, pull the heel towards the hip and then send the hips forward just slightly. As you lengthen the tailbone down towards the knee, bend the left elbow, roll the heart open. Maybe kick into the hand. It's a different variation. Kind of a chapasana variation. One more inhale. And then exhale, slowly release, left foot to the back of the mat. Left hand comes down, tripod down dog. So find your way there, tripod down dog. Bend both knees, open the hip. You stay right here or take a wild thing variation. Be bringing the left heel down, gently placing the right toes down and then spiraling open. I like to bend down low to help me Open the heart and then cactus the top arm as the left leg extends. Your choice. Slowly coming back around, downward facing dog. Full exhale. Inhale pulls you right forward, high plank. Exhale, knees touch down as the hips guide you back. Active child's pose. Exhale, round as you come forward, high plank. And hips guide you back into soft knee side plank. So find where you'd like to play here. Always an option just to bring the left knee down too. This space gives lots of opportunities for transitions and play. So maybe taking tree pose, or hand to the knee, playing around. And then gaze, hand reach towards the corner of the mat. Then the foot does too, as you take a big step, reach off the mat like you're grabbing something and then bring it with you into sage pose. Lotus Mudra. Press down into the earth in order to grow up, inhale. 
Exhale, reach, right arm comes down on the inside. Make that connection there. And then spiral open as you reach. One more inhale. Swoop through the air. Back of the mat. Arrange how you need as you reach. Long line of energy from the heel all the way through the top pinky finger. Left hand right under the shoulder. Hand to hip, shift the weight over the knee and the hand, right arm, leg long, maybe bending, grabbing for the foot. So option keeping the heel moving towards the glute, or you can do the opposite where it's kicking and moving away. Wherever you are, find some equal opposition, some places where you're finding some uh, borders to push into or to pull into. One more inhale. Begin to gaze down, slowly release, heart spirals, hand reaches, tripod down dog. Your choice. Bend both knees and open both hips, staying here. Or go ahead and take the heel down as you swivel around, wild thing. Any way you'd like to get in it. Like to bring down, open up. Then lift the hips, pull pubic bone to sternum, sternum to throat. And just drips all the way back off the head through the fingers. And slowly spiraling the heart down, the hand plants, toes come around, downward facing dog. Once more, inhale, wave forward plank pose. Exhale, bring the knees down, the hips guide you back, active child's pose. Exhale, curl as you come forward into high plank again. This time, downward facing dog. Let's walk the feet slowly, deliberately into little tiny steps towards the top of the mat. Hmm. Separate the feet wider than hips distance a little bit. Soften the knees so that the belly comes to the thighs and then inhale, halfway lift. The heart reaches forward, the hips reach back. Give a good wiggle here. And then turn the toes out and sink the hips low, malasana. So you can find a block. You can stack the blocks. Hands on the inside. Equal opposition, squeezing in, elbows pushing out. Gives us so much strength to be able to come up against something to know where we are in space. It gives us context. And one more inhale. Full release all the way down, booty to the ground. Sukhasana. Good space pose, so just finding a good space in this posture. Spiraling the spine. And then finding stillness. Pressing down through the sit bones, reaching through the crown of the head. And once more, let's bring the hands into Padma Mudra. So everything's touching besides the three fingers. Open up. Possibility here, moving from one thing to another, especially challenging things to things with more space, places, energies with more space. So maybe you've noticed more space in your body or in your mind after this practice. Very lucky for this practice, for that. The space that it creates in all the different ways. Next inhale, grow the lotus high. And then exhale, hands press together as you draw the hands all the way down to the ground. And let the forehead follow in thanks and gratitude. And bringing yourself back. 
Thank you so much for carving out the space for you. Thank yourself for that as well. And I look forward to seeing you again on your mat. Please reach out with any questions, comments, things you'd like to see more of. Um, really fortunate to get to make these videos for you. So I want to be sure that giving you what you would like. See ya.